in the past and made my AI that wanders around a facility looking for players. And you guys thought, hey, that's pretty cool, but how do I make it hide from players? So I'm gonna show you guys that today. If you're new to Forbidden, then you probably aren't aware, but I like to take everything to really complicated heights. So instead of just, oh, the player went in, I'm not gonna chase it anymore. There's also the option that, hey, if it saw the player go in, it will still chase it anyway and kill them for doing that. So it's pretty smart. So let's go over how to insert it. Go over to your toolbox, look up Forbidden, Rman501, and insert it into your game. Go ahead and grab Ungroup and RS and drag it into Replicate Storage and ungroup it. Go ahead and delete the rest of that model and come into here, AI, pre-coded Chase AI. And we're going over with hiding today. If you wanna go over the base, I'd encourage you to, because we'll show you how to edit the script and settings a lot better. And we're gonna go over with hiding them in enemy bring that into the dummy ungroup it now do the same thing for replicated storage server script service starter character scripts and workspace however i already have like all the workspace workspace stuff out excuse me so i'm fine with that let's go over though with the most obvious uh starting point the settings so inside chase ai with hiding there's a settings file all these are gone over in a previous video but the only noticeable one is locker chase locker chase is gonna go over here and like say uh i they i saw them go into the locker if set the true it will chase them down anyway otherwise if set the false it will just be like okay i'm gonna wander again there is one more thing i will show you though and that's the nodes table so the nodes table is if do wander set the true the nodes table um is like all these yellow nodes which is spots where the ai can go to so we're gonna come in here we're gonna do module hr parent wait for child test nodes get children so that's at least for me but it's just giving me a table of all these yellow nodes now i've done that i'm actually pretty much ready to hit play however let's go over all the different settings client hide handler so all these settings will probably be moved to here However, for now they're here. So this is the interact button for the locker. Interact range, so five is basically to this green node. Enter time, so this is called and then the server isn't actually alerted that you're in that locker until whatever the enter time is. So you can do animations inside of this begin hiding and stopped hiding before the server is aware of it. So you can time it properly. So that's all that's in client hide handler. Now let's go over to handlers hide handler. So in here, this is if you wanted to get rid of the default teleport and stuff, but right now it's set, but you're gonna see something like why rot value. Where is that? Well, this is the next important thing. Why rot value is the rotation offset that's inside of here. So whenever a player is teleported in and out, its orientation can change depending on what way the locker is oriented. So you can edit this number value offset, which if you're making your own locker, you need to have a floor and front part. A floor is where it gets teleported inside to. Oh, and a front is where the AI will know to wander to and um, where the player will get teleported to when they get out. So player by rotation, and you can see it's pretty much, it should be the same value, whatever you have to set it to. So yeah. And then is available is the other thing. You need a bool value. Make sure to set the true on default. Forgot about that. And this uh, knob, like this interact thing, it isn't necessary. I just have it so that, you know you can tell when you're close enough. All right. So that's the locker. Now let's go over the hardest part, the script. So in here, we check if the player is hiding by going into temporary values. Is hiding, which is where the is hiding. Thing is located on the server side so if i hit play i go players our man temporary values you can see that there and that is made inside the hide handler script right here okay next up we have saw player hide so if it saw the player hide it's going to chase it down if you have as i said this set the false this function never gets called next up we have Oh, that's about it. Okay. Another thing is there might look like there's lag. That's set network owner. If you don't really care about a free second delay on where it 
is I just do this. Set that to no. And that will make the server always handle the physics. It might look a bit laggy, but it might be the best solution. Let's go over script up. It did not see me, unfortunate, the FOB sign. However, I don't think I'm fast enough. No! Ah, I wasn't fast enough. Alright, let me go back here. Saw me get in the locker, and it's gonna kill. So whenever it reaches, the green note is when it kills you. Alright, let's go over though the hiding to make sure it works. So, what I'm gonna do for now, I'm gonna enable label this a special thing so i'm gonna do close node and now i'm gonna go into settings and i'm just gonna do here um, so now i'm gonna do a table of this and that's just gonna hard code it saying it like that's the only thing it can go to so if i stay inside this locker now You'll see that even when it gets there. Oh, there isn't another note for it to go to. Um, let's make it go here. Other. And if I do the same thing, just with other note at the end, I hit play here. Okay. I go in. Come on, come over here. There it goes. So you can see it doesn't notice me so the hiding worked now what if i get in and out to make sure that that works let's go over here now let's get out so it just saw me by the way it's trying to chase me down and we're good let's get out So that's the AI system. I encourage you to watch the previous video. You're going to see it chases me around. I think it saw me. Yep. So it's smart. It's cool. Share with me the games you make in the comments down below. And yeah, like and subscribe if this helped you.